Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can outlive more opponents in Fortnite. Because you know, now the uh, tier 100 skin for season 7 is you need to outlive opponents instead of like getting XP or like tearing up or whatever, uh, which is just really new. And there's a lot of people that just want to like know how they can outlive people fast. You know, it seems like pretty uh, easy, you know, just play games and just live as long as you can. But I do have some tips and like tactics to help do that easier or safer so that, you know, you make sure you survive, you know, you don't just just waste time and then die you know really quick or anything so i'm going to share those tips with you guys really quick and uh yeah before i start the video uh if you're new to my channel subscribing would be really appreciated if you end up liking this video subscribing shows you want more and if you don't know already i'm going to try and get a thousand subscribers before the end of season seven i'm going to try really hard for that so if you're new to my channel and you want to help me reach that goal that would i'd be very appreciative of that and uh yeah let's just get into the video so i'm going to start off uh these tips with the most obvious ones and i'm going to get to the ones that seem like uh, less people would know about and things like that so the first one which is pretty obvious is to just play passive which means don't drop tilted don't drop in the snowy area the new areas just go somewhere far off the map you know maybe like risky reels lucky landing lonely lodge places like that that are on the edge of the map and uh try not to drop anywhere that's like right where the battle bus path starts like so let's say the battle bus path starts like right where the new storm snowy area is like near polar peak or whatever and you're gonna want to drop like near lonely lodge or something towards the end of the battle bus path because a lot of people normally do drop uh there right off at the start to try and get some kills and stuff so uh depending on where the battle bus uh, path is try and land at the end of the battle bus path and at a location that's normally less populated just so you can uh you know get geared up and not have to deal with too many people trying to kill you and once you got geared up uh if you're in the next circle i'd recommend just like staying where you're at like don't really uh push into new locations don't really go to where you hear gunfire because when you're trying to outlive opponents it's not really about getting kills it's about just out surviving them instead of trying to kill as many people so you get the highest place as possible but now this next tip does sound really newbie and it just sounds like what you would do if you're not good at the game or anything but it has been proven to be really really effective uh with outliving people which is to just kind of hide and camp i guess you could say so what you want to do is you know like once you see where the battle bus, like once it ends, once you're out of the battle bus, uh, don't drop at a certain location, just drop somewhere random, maybe like doesn't even have to be somewhere where people normally go, even if it's not named, like it could be just a random shack out in the middle of nowhere, just where you can maybe get a weapon and maybe like some shields some bandages, something like that. And um, then you want to see where the next circle is. You want to go to that circle. You want to get as close to the middle as possible. That's not at a named location. And then you either want to wait in a bush. That's what I'm saying. It's very newbie. It's like what defaults would do. Uh, but it has been proven to be really effective or if the circle is like kind of leaning over the edge you know like how if you jump off the island you die uh if the circle part of the circle is out in the water there you can try and slide down the side of the cliff and then uh place a floor while you're falling down uh so that you're like hanging over the edge of the island and then just wait there wait for the next circle build back up and then if that one doesn't have any water in it then you can just uh go hide in a bush which it is very newbie tactic and you're probably not going to win if you do that because you won't have any good weapons but you will out survive a lot of people i can guarantee if you do that and you do it good every game you should get like top 20 to like top 5 easily and that is just a really good way of outliving people you know like those games easily you know just outlive 80 people a game which is uh, pretty good if you think about it for how much time you spend and you don't even have to be fully concentrated on the game while you're doing that you could be watching youtube uh, while you're doing that because you know you're not worrying about like listening for people because nobody's really going to find you or anything uh, but yeah just make sure you're in a position where nobody's going to see you poking through a bush or anything like that all right so my next and final tip yes final tip i'm sorry i don't have too many tips for this but uh, this is kind of the best one I could think of that's used for a couple other things also, uh, which is a pretty good strategy not many people have heard about, and I did mention it in another video, uh, but it is called Storm Skipping. There are a couple people have who have made a video on this before, uh, but generally when I say it, not many people really know what I'm talking about when I say Storm Skipping. So Storm Skipping is, you want to wait, like when the battle bus gets to the very end of its path, uh, like right when it's about to leave the island and it automatically kicks you off the bus like let's say you're afk you know you're going through the bus and at the very end it just kicks you off so you're gonna do that once it kicks you off you want to deploy your deploy your glider right away and just stay up in the air as long as possible i'd recommend trying to fly towards the center of the map while you have your glider out and then you'll see where the first circle spawns 
So instead of landing somewhere and having a chance of not being in the circle, the circle will spawn, you'll be in the air. Then you wanna to go to a location inside the circle that you see is unlooted uh, or just like you don't see many people there or anything, just a really uncommon spot. And then, then you wanna land there and then start looting. And by the time you land and you start looting, there should only be about like 60 people left maybe. So right away, you have no chance of people killing you. Well, now with the airplanes, there probably might be a chance of you dying, but the chances are much lower than landing somewhere right off the start. So you'll just be up in the air a lot of the time and then just land, loot up, and then after that, you can do whatever you want. You can try and play passive or you can do the strategy where you hang off the side of the island and hide in a bush. You can go pretty much anywhere uh, from there. So this is kind of like a double tactic where you can do the storm skipping and then another tactic that I said earlier in the video. Or you can just do that. You know, I already survived, like, out survived 40 people. I'm just going to rush in and kill somebody or rush in and die and then get into another game. And, uh, yeah, kind of anything you want to do like that. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I'm sorry I don't have too, too many tactics uh, for outliving people. It is a pretty basic thing, but hopefully at least one of these tips could help you out. Uh, I really hope it did. And uh, if you like this video, leaving a like on the video really does help uh, support the channel and just kind of like get the video out to as many people as possible. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new to my channel and you want to subscribe and help me get to the 1,000 subscribers before the end of Season 7, I'd be really appreciative of that. Uh, and like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment or if you subscribe, leave a comment and I'll go respond to you. I want to try and respond to every single comment I can. Uh, just go through and read all of them, everything like that. And also, if you're new and you haven't like done any of the other stuff, you can go join my Discord. A link to that will be in the description. Just click the link, invite you to my Discord. Um, you can also go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pizza rolls with one Z and three A, so P-I-Z-A-A-A-R-O-L-L-S. A link to that will also be down in the description uh, that you can go look at. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the end of the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye.